What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Made in the Abyss. Today we are doing season two, episodes seven, eight, nine, and ten. Feels like I'm doing a one piece session because of how behind I am on Made in the Abyss. I know. I apologize, guys. I have been just so busy, but I'm catching up. So you can be right back on track. Very excited, but also very nervous because of the things I've been hearing about this. Like, I haven't heard anything specific, but I've been I've been hearing rumblings on the online sphere that they're like, oh they're like oh no we're back to good old maiden abyss oh wow this is crazy so i'm like okay calm down let's get right into this i'm very excited hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in those comments don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel if we're gonna check out that patreon if you guys want to watch these four episodes full uncut all that jazz maybe the other shows i'm watching early access uncut as well let's hop right on into this uh, made in abyss season two the first one we are doing is called episode it is episode seven called the cradle of desire let's do this all right so we're back in time right where we left off with them which is exactly what i'm excited about these crazy ass creatures these big daddies helping them out they are literally information gatherers you know i would be the same exact way let's have a full-blown conversation let's really get to know each other oh my god this looks so sick looks like the hydra and like hercules or something the golden city of the scorching sun season two made in abyss okay so they didn't actually control it going down clutching a stone a life reverberating stone oh my was is that's probably a human that's so sad i want to know his little backstory too okay so the hollow in the middle was the hollow i obviously it was a human but was it a human with a life reverberating stone just going up and then that happened to him and now he's just a perma hollow elevator manager if you guys know the answer to that and it's not a spoiler if you guys could tell me that little hollows little mini story i would love to know no point in going back anyway. Damn. Even that being said, they all look nervous, so. So who we were questioning if we should even take her. That? Wait. That's... E okay i am confused i'm sure i'm gonna get the answers i just want to process this out loud with you guys i always assumed i'm gonna call her iramui now i always assumed iramui was faputa in the future but at the end of last episode voiko was saying oh iramui did you send these kids this that or the other your desires your this or that will be like something and it was showing an egg with what looked like to be the original compass that Rico and Vueco had that we traded, but like, I, I, it couldn't totally not be that. That's just pure speculation. But why the fuck is that Iramu? Who is Fuputa? Like I gotta say, this show as a mystery box is my favorite part. So they get tats. They get tatted up. Imitate the residents of Golden City. Ink of sacrifice put on. That's so sad. Was that a thing back in the day? If you were infertile, they would just mark you as not worthy. <laughs> and no, oh, it's so cute. I know, I would be nervous as well. Maybe I was like a poisonous fucking butthole or something. You never know. You never know. Damn. They only have one actual usable body of water. I like our little DUI, DIY fence that we made, you know, separating areas. So we're going on a little hunter gathering trip, gather some water with the interference units. I'm down. This is one of the sources. Ooh. 
I like caves with like natural light like that flowing in. That's number one. You need water access. That's the number one thing you need. Oh, well, we had to make some sacrifice along little by little. We gradually acquire the skills. Look at that creature. It's a good hunt, guys. It looks like a standing up shark. It's so weird. Oh, she's got a fever. Is there some sort of illness? Aww. I disinherited her, disowned her because of her inability to birth. I get, I mean, I get it, but I don't get it, man. That's so sad. Aww. I don't want a replacement mom. I want Voiko. Aww. That's so sad. We all deserve to be wanted in this world. What does Bailoff think of that? These brolic... Oh my... Talk about a creature hall. These brolic ass men. Talk about eating good for the for the peeps tonight. Oh! No, our little bunny... Th oh my god. We made a necklace out of him. R.I.P. little bunny thing. You were so cute. Oh my, yeah. She looks horrible. She got infested by some sort of bug? Is it the water? What the fuck? Yeah, is it viral? Is it, bact is it airborne? Is it bacteria? Is it a virus? Is it a parasite? What sort of... Diarrhea and a fever are one thing. Those are relatively common disease or sickness symptoms. But a melting foot and turning into a tree? What the f Layer? A, the corpse? Oh. Really? That's the thing that that was the last episode. What the fuck is going on? The water itself is a living organism. Wow. Are the shape of wishes? From modest ones to strong ones. That one is super strong. What does he mean by that? The shape of wishes. Right? Cradle of desire. That is the episode the title of this episode. The wish granting egg? What do you mean by that? A juvenile is preferable? Really? You'd think an adult would be better able to handle it than a child, but I guess... This is so... Especially that it's Iram Yui that's going through this. I feel so bad. Oh, even Bailoff is sick as well. Everyone's getting fucked because it's our only water source and it's fucking you. Aram Yui. I know that kid will be our salvation. What is Aram Yui? She's good. Her hand is still fucked up, it looks like. That's what they were saying. Eggs swallowing you up. Like, egging swallow... Oh. So her wish worked. It doesn't hurt anymore? Is that what she's gonna do? What the hell is going on? That's the sound of excruciating pain or something. I don't know. I... 
she wished she could give birth. The one thing she's always regretted about herself. And that is so sad, but what the fuck? Second, third, this is what? She's just constantly giving birth? What? And now Vueco is sick as well. Oh no. You have Irum Yui just constantly giving birth and watching her babies die. And you have everyone else dying of dehydration and turning into stone. What the fuck? So Wazukyan probably kept us alive because of that meal. Gave everyone else of what? What did she eat? Alright, on to episode 8. We're back to the present, thanks. I don't know how much more I want to watch of this. And I thought Irem Yui was Faputa, and now I don't, but I also do, but I don't. And it's, There's like three like red like crystals right here, which aren't don't look like the bones of the bunny thing that the necklace that Vueco made her but it at the end when she was giving birth constantly the necklace that Vueco made her was on her head in those in that pattern of three is what well. I don't know man I need all the answers I have so little of them He's gonna rip off one of her arms? Her all, if it's for the promise. Was that one of her ear things? I don't know what to even think at this point. Every day she gives birth to a new creature. She's feeding, she's birthing our food. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Nah. No. I don't even want to watch this. No. 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 No, I'm good. I don't want to cook her children, her alive children. We just killed him, technically. Kill her out of... Put her out of her misery. This is so horrible in so many ways. You can feel her heartbeat. She's still in there. That is, oh my. If living in this state is what you wished for, oh my god. It's still, where, at what point do they all become hollows? Or they all, the village of Iruburu is created? Oh. I mean, 
mean, theoretically, I get that. You're you're punishing yourself the most. Look at Bailoff. Oh my god. The babies just kept getting bigger and bigger, too. She is physically too big to keep growing anymore. This might be one of the darkest, most depressing things I've seen in any anime ever. That fur? What? Kill me? He just does not want to be alive anymore. Can I get him? What? Is this the portal into the village? Irum Yui is... And those are the hollows that was in there with Waco down. And he is the Bailoff we know now. This is how it all started. This is our goal? Because Waco current time is the only one non holofied so she didn't go along with it? Yeah. You're gonna walk off the edge? Damn. Bro, this show is dark. And she did it. That warm darkness is mine alone. He used one of the cradles of desire? And so then Vueko woke up like this. That's Wazukan's new form. That's how she was here the whole time. So Irum Yui is Iruburu. She secretly, oh so secretly. Your queen. So I was right and wrong. Your final child, that's actually kind of cool. That she was in, it's Faputa, but it is Irum Yui, but it's not. It's Irum Yui's child. There goes one of the interference units. Okay. This is so in depth and complicated, it's crazy. I don't even know what emotions I should be feeling right now, if I'm being honest with you. And, and then we cut to the future, hopefully. Set out your own joyful journey. Wouldn't I love how we're in the darkness and the light is beyond the horizon, you know? But I... That's what these are? These are all the children, the shapes of their souls. And so she named all of them because they never got to have names before. Oh my goodness. And so for the rest of eternity, up until present time, Waco has just been down here being a surrogate mother. 
So, I can't lie. I got a lot of the answers I wanted to. I don't know if I wanted them now. I might go back in time and not want them anymore. Because this shit is okay. And that was the story. Holy shit, Waco. I would be like... So interesting to think about. That was so crazy. That was one of the craziest backstory flashbacks flashbacks I've ever had in an anime. Ever. That. Ugh. Wow. I... Wow. Wow. All right, on to episode nine. Let's do it. Oh, so it was her arm. Maybe it wasn't. I can't tell. Maybe it's her arm ear thing. Who knows? Now that I have, now that I have the answer to how Faputa was born, her literal birth, I need her whole backstory, what she did after she was born, how she met Reg. I need everything. I need everything. And the big dad, because she destroyed all the big daddies, the interference units, when she was born. So that's the value in which we can get Nanachi back. Bailiff would surely take that. Baputa's arm. It's been a minute since I've seen Mania. What does Faputa think of Rico and... You look very nice now talking about the life reverberating stone because it was pre-stone before we went to Iriburu and now it's full every white with oh so sick it's yeah she can't get through the membrane Mmm, Paputa wants her help to get inside. And then we will free Irum Yui. <laughs> Paputa is so weird. Okay, so... Yeah. Even the membrane, probably. Oh, Wazukyan. The prince. You have done crazy things. Cr <laughs> yeah. Facts. Mm. What was? Damn, right at the door. Ooh. Why are you faking that, Wazukyan? 150 years. 150 years. Things don't always work out, you know? He does still yearn to explore, but he can't. Mm, I don't know if I trust it. A cradle... Mm. That would be sick. That would be, that would be a crazy twist of the season, and that would be insane. Oh, God. Mazukian knows something's about to fucking happen right now. Oh, it's what's his name with the chest sword, right? Yeah, with the chest vagina. Get the... Why is he here? He's gonna start with a J, right? Juroimo. So Wazukan was buying time for Juroimo. Yep. Keep Waco out of it. So now what's gonna happen? Are, do we have to fight Juroimo? What is going on? That's Jiro That was Jiroimo? 
She made him. So, which, and I don't know, maybe I could be completely misreading this, but Jeroimo, who is the one taking care of Waco and abusing the absolute fuck out of her, was that sort of parental father figure. Obviously, horrible. Don't don't get me started on that. But due to the signals of the signals that um, Iremui was getting from Waco and being lonely, did she just want to? Did Iremui just want to create some sort of again parental father figure whose sole goal is to be the vi village's guardian? You know, like which uh, I don't. Being lonely and also getting signals like, oh, this is like your dad. You know, I don't. Am I even on the right vein there? I don't know. I totally probably not. Oh, yep. It just evolved. Juroimon evolved into Mega Juroimon. What's going to happen? Are we going to blow the white whistle again? Get him in the super reg? I have to do it, don't I? See if you can just blow... See if you can blow a clean hole. And then Faputa come in and save the day? Well, at this point, we're all going to die anyway. There's no time. It's been a minute since we've seen the incinerator. Such a powerful blast. Look at that. Oh my god. How long does he get knocked out for after? Like two hours? Something like that? That was a crazy good fucking attack. He's like, here, we gotta do something because I'm about to be I'm about to be knocked out. Oh, here she is. Fa puta. The queen of the hollows. Oh my, she looks like she's about to summon fucking red eyes black dragon. And that's Big Daddy. Oh yeah. Paputa is about to go on a killing spree. Damn. So she ripped off one of her ears and her back arm. I've been able to see both. I thought it was one or the other, but she did both. This day, this moment, I definitely don't. She's being enveloped by her younger brothers and sisters, or her older brothers and sisters. You've done enough. Holy shit. And she's back. Like nothing happened. She truly is immortal. That's a shot right there. I miss Nanachi so much. Yeah, what's up with friend? What's up with girls having a, a friend that's a girl and <laughs> them all having the most tragic story ever? Oh, so Nanachi was able to dream and see all this. That's so crazy. It has come. Paputa. Talk about a transition to the ending. This feels like we're setting up like some finale type shit. Like I got goosebumps. This is this is crazy. All right. Final episode of the session. Episode 10. The time to awake has come. I know. It's so crazy. I had you breathe in my experiences. 
smells or memories themselves. Damn, so she knows everything now. Bailoff has hated himself for so long. Or at least the things he's done. Faputa is actually going on a devastation. Talk about a way to point. Over there. Thank you, Bela. Oh, because she was fully made. Soul and everything inside this village at a value, so. If it was actual Mitty, R.I.P., Yes, but this is created MIDI. She did. <laughs> Rico and Reg. Showing her, you know? Even though MIDI's already dead, man, this is just so sad. I just always feel bad for Nanachi. Nanachi's just such a nice... Yeah. Even though this isn't e oh, Damn, man, that's sad. I hope one day we can save her soul or do something, man. How many times is Mitty and Nanachi gonna get me sad in the show? Uh. Even they came too, because they said, oh, that is so sad. I tell ya. Always remember you guys. God damn, that is sad, man. Hey, man. <laughs> that's, that's a fire helmet. Shouts out to them. Woo! God damn it. Yeah, she's been just butchering every single hollow. She is so strong, yet mobile, yet she's actually like really strong. But well, the villagers are trying to put up a fight. So after letting her in and giving her the green light, we're going to stop her. I don't know how this is going to work. Damn. Yeah, true. You shouldn't announce to her that you're going to stop her if you truly wanted to stop her. You are a kind soul, Reg. She doesn't want to beat your ass, Ray, but she is willing to. Talk about a transition. So at one point, Big Daddy was about to die. Is this how they first met? Back when he had both hands, even though that's more of a recent development. I miss Reg with both hands, man. Oh, and those goggles on his helmet. Those are the ones that she has on her. Destroying his inner organs. Are she going to pull out his organs? Kidney, liver, stomach, intestines, everything destroyed. You know how much that would hurt? And he still saved the little, the little hollow. This is their first, and this is so weird, man. I need to have a full reg backstory. And hold on, I don't mean to pause it halfway through this episode. 
is it weird that me just saying that I need to see a full reg backstory just click something in my mind? I'm like, wait, are we not going down in the abyss to find our mom, Rico? Like, you know, a story is so insanely captivating when out of nowhere, like I've probably, this is we're episodes 10. I completely forgot our goal going into the abyss. We haven't mentioned Lysa, Ozen. This is like, I am like, this is how you know you're hooked. I haven't even thought about our main. It literally just hit me. I'm like, wait, we still got to find mom. Damn. Mentor. Mentor. Let me see, please. Then the cut to where we are now and just fucking going at it against each other. Okay, we're going chrome mode. I love the way they animated that. He knows exactly what to do. He's all chrome. Ooh, that shit is clean. He's got like incinerator feet. He's like Endeavor. He is so fast, so strong. The stone person. Prushka is a very nice stone person. She's the goat. So even Faputa knows about the life reverberating stone. I mean, obviously she's the one who stole Prushka and Brino. You know. Just unable to say how cramped they felt. So that's why they, she had to get reworked. We don't know how, you know? Talk about a fucking... Some scenery raining fire it's literally raining fire the iron rain what is wazukyan doing bro what the hell show am i watching Oh, back when we were first introduced, there was burning rain as well. The number one precious thing. This is... Uh, for that to be Irumui is... Oh my god. Climbing up the pit. I've got something I was asked to do. Okay. I'll definitely come back. So he goes up, meets Rico, and then we have made an abyss. Now seeing this backstory and how Faputa and Reg met and this promise being made, it is it's more understanding why Faputa would be as un upset as she is that Reg doesn't remember anything. Obviously, that's not his fault at all, but this is a huge promise, you know? Princess and Prince. Promise each other. I love this song. This is my favorite song in Made in Abyss. We'll set off hand in hand. And then he went up. He went from six to five all the way to one. Again, another fire transition. She 
Jeez, but foolish. What is gonna happen? Like how? I'm caught up now, man. And I have to wait another week. God damn it. I can't lie to you. I'm trying to decide whether Irum Yui and Vueco's story is the darkest and craziest story in Made in Abyss. And like, I'm trying to, cause obviously the other one we can talk about is Prushka and Mitty and Nanachi. Those are the other two contenders. And I really don't think they hold up, sadly. I think this is by far the craziest, darkest, I don't know what other adjectives I can use. Insert crazy adjectives here. Story I've ever seen. How it started versus them developing a village down there due to them not being able to leave. So Wazukian said, hey, we're going to be the first settlers down here. Let's do it. First things first, get a place, uh, get a source of water. That's what caused everything. The source of water, which is so interesting in and of itself. The water itself is a living creature and it reproduces upon you drinking it like it's eggs and even after being boiled you know which when it comes to the creatures in this world that does not shock me at all that you can survive being it's just crazy to think about that's how everything started and then when they were dealing with the sickness that's when the wish cradle egg thing was used as an alternative and irum yui's wish was to be able to have children, to be able to bear children. I don't even want to talk about the rest of the story because you guys know exactly how it goes, but holy shit. And then the development to Iruburu, I'm so glad I finally got that story. It actually makes so much sense and it fits. Like, it's just fucking dark. But Faputa going on her war path to try to stop it, completely understandable. I get it. You got Reg who I love seeing their meeting for the first time. His, I need to know more about his Haku, his mission. Obviously, it's Rico. I want to see more of a fucking Rico's mom. I'm so upset. I'm not... I'm, are we going to survive? Bailoff. The whole Bailoff, Nanachi, Mitsy. I was crying again. Oh, my God. This show, man. This show is the mangaka of this show. I don't know what's going on in your life, but if you need someone to talk to, I am here for you. Because clearly you i don't know i don't know what to say this show blows my mind hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon for the full uncut version early access to the other shows i'm watching oh my lord hope you guys have a great day don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out